What's going on everyone? This is your boy Jazz at the Lobby of Hobbies and today we're doing a final countdown video this time for a game currently on Kickstarter. It's closing in about 24 hours, probably less when you're seeing it. This is Nestlings from Tangerine Games and designer Brandon Omi. Now, Tangerine Games is partnering up with Lucky Duck to get this to a wider audience and distribution, um, but thanks to Tangerine Games for sending this one over so that we can check it out. This is not a a sponsored video this is not a paid video this is just them sending me this game so i can check it out and share my thoughts with you and that way you guys can determine whether or not this is something you want to back in this final countdown to the campaign so if you're ready for it let's get into it <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at this campaign page. Obviously, they've surpassed their $36,000 um, goal. They're at $101,000. Um, but this one right here uh, has three different pledge levels. You have the $39 standard pledge level, which is going to get you the, uh, the version of the game with the cardboard components. You go up to the deluxe pledge level at $79. You're going to get the wooden components, the bird miniatures, as well as the uh, game tray inserts. Then at $99, you're going to get the same thing at the deluxe pledge level, but you're going to also get four dice trays for your game. Now, the artwork in this one is beautiful. It's one that really caught my eye. It's definitely um, a beautiful game to look at. But how does the game play? You know, beauty is not everything. But... This one is a dice placement, worker style placement game where players are going to be taking on the role of a bird. And whether you're playing with the player powers or without the player powers, uh, you're going to be rolling your dice and placing your dice into various um, four different regions of the board. You have the Alpine region, you have the Savannah region, the Desert region, and the Freshwater region. And the person who has the most dice at that region is going to have priority. But if there is a tie for dice at a region, the early bird gets the worm. So getting there earlier is definitely going to be more beneficial. Now, whoever has priority is going to get first pick of the resources. And they're also going to get a bonus of being able to discard one of the other resources at that region so that players after them can't collect them. Now you also have in the center of the board, you're going to have this grasslands region where players can place any die there, even if it rolls a blank side. And that allows you to gather um, whatever leftover resources were not picked at the other four biomes at the end of the round. And the first person to go to the grasslands is also going to get that first player uh, marker for the next round. This game just plays over four rounds, um, plays fast. Um, the box says 30 to 60 minutes, which I think is perfect because most games I played were around 45 minutes. I think the longest was around 55 minutes, definitely under an hour. And that was, uh, you know, learning the game for the first time. But you can get kids probably as young as possibly eight, but around that 10 year old age uh, to play this one. Um, the box says 12 and up, but I think you could definitely get kids around 10 years old playing this one. Um, but just backing it at any pledge level is going to get you... Um, a, a free dice tray so even at the base $39 level you're gonna get this dice tray but they do have Kickstarter exclusives um, you have the uh, seasonal event module which every round um, a new event is gonna come out it's gonna affect the game that module wasn't in this prototype um, but you also have again the advanced uh, modes which is gonna be on the back of the player board is gonna be a asymmetric player power unique to your player uh, your bird but uh, the Deluxe is going to have those dual layer player boards that everyone loves as well. Um, you're going to have some new birds, you're going to get the custom dice, you're going to get the custom biome bags, you're going to hold the various resources. But part of the gameplay that I thought was really neat is not only are you gathering these resources to complete private and public objectives, you're also gathering this the resources specific to your bird's region to be able to feed the nestlings at your board. And when you feed the nestlings on your board, you're going to be able to score points. And this game, points ramp up because you're going to be scoring at the end of each round, as well as at the end of the game for the various objectives that you have completed. Um, but if you don't feed your nestlings, you're going to get um, negative uh, point points that are going to happen to you each round. So it's very important to be on top of um, feeding your nestlings throughout the game. And as you gain resources, you're also going to be getting these wheel segments to put on your player board 
And once you complete a certain segment of the board, you're going to be getting an additional bonus to use the moment you complete it. And that could be something as gaining another resource, exchanging a resource, or even getting an additional segment to add to this wheel. And adding segments to this wheel gives you points, but also it helps give you those bonuses. And if you can complete the wheel, you even get a seven point bonus for completing it, which I've never been able to do yet. But um, it's one that I'm still trying to do. Uh, but there you have it. That is Nestlings. Again, it's a quick, fast paced family weight game. This is definitely on the lines of that creature comforts, maybe a step above creature comforts, like I said. Um, but uh, if this is something sounds like it might be up your alley, definitely check out the Kickstarter campaign page. I'm going to put a link down in the description below. But if you want to see how this game is played, there's a nice tutorial over at Before You Play. Monique and Naveen did a great job describing this one. I'm going to put a link right here for you to go check that out. All right. Thank you so much for checking this one out with me. Thank you so much to Tangerine Games for sending this one over so we can check this one out. But again, thank you for stopping at the channel. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. That way you can be, um, you know, follow along with what we're doing. Hit that bell icon anytime, um, you know, you get, we do a drop a video, you get notified. But remember, play the games that you enjoy, share them with the people that you love, and hopefully they discover something worth checking out. So I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>